So when are these rewards going to be given? Well, I can't tell you exactly, but the, at least in terms of when the awards ceremony will be held, the, the judgment seat of Christ, that's the Greek word bema, it's a place where judgment occurs, that's going to occur sometime after the rapture. Um, First, Thess First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17 talks about the dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive will be caught up and meet him in the air. Then there will be a seven-year tribulation period, followed by, according to Daniel 12, 75 days before the millennium starts, probably a time of cleanup and other things. Um, that's certainly when the judgment of the sheep and the goats will take place, Matthew 25, 31 to 46. It may well be that's when the judgment seat of Christ takes place, although many people argue it takes place during the seven-year tribulation. But when we receive the rewards, it seems to me, will be uh, primarily at the start of the millennium. There will be some rewards, obviously, during those 75 days between the tribulation and the millennium, but it seems to me the main fulfillment of that will be uh, during the millennial reign. And by the way, within dispensational circles... Uh, or free grace circles, there's a difference of opinion on whether the rewards we get last beyond the millennium or not. And it's my estimation that they're clearly eternal. They go beyond the millennium to the new earth. For example, in Matthew 6, Jesus says, Don't lay up treasure on earth where moth and rust destroy and thieves break in and steal, but lay up treasure in heaven where moth and rust can't destroy and thieves can't break in or steal for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Obviously, what he's promising there is that this treasure we lay up is imperishable. It's eternal. In 1 Corinthians 9, Paul says that the 9 verses 24, 25, and 26, he says those who run in a race are all running, but only one receives the prize. He says they're running for a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Well, an imperishable crown symbolizes, in my estimation, an eternal rulership with Christ. So, in my view, what we get lasts forever.